RE TV. Aloha aina. I'm Ehuke Kahu Cardwell with the Kowani Foundation here on Free Hawaii TV, a part of the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network. We have a very interesting question we want to ask you that is sure to be quite controversial. You might say this question doesn't make any sense because they're two very different things. Yet the question itself brings this up. It's true that Mauna Kea and Red Hill are both important, but they get treated in the press and by the fake state very differently. And can you guess why? The perception by a lot of people in Hawaii is that opposing building the 30 meter telescope atop Mauna Kea is only important to Hawaiians who consider Mauna Kea a sacred place. On the other hand, the Red Hill water contamination is different because it affects all residents. So it's considered way more important. How big a deal do you think drinking water contaminated by jet fuel would be if that water was just on Hawaiian homelands where only Hawaiians drank it? But when something like this affects settlers and other non-Kanaka, then it becomes this. So why is that? It's because despite all of the lip service here in Hawaii, the interests and welfare of the foreign occupier, the U.S., takes precedence over the interests and welfare of Hawaiians. That's not only wrong, it's also one of the huge costs that Hawaiians pay every single day to live in their own homeland. The solution is a free Hawaii, an end to the U.S. occupation, and an end to putting what's best for the U.S. first, and what's best for Hawaiians last. I'm Ahuke Kahu Cardwell with the Kawani Foundation, right here on the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network. Hawaii Broadcasting Network.